what's up the squad back with another video i seen the title was going down make sure i hit the like button subscribe button let's get a video trump comes out of the court and gets a lot of support from his vice president uh potential picks and i seen i seen a little clip of this video it was a lot a lot of people you know and it, it's a lot of people you know support and it I, th I think i like it a lot more because you know more people are starting to report him, uh support them uh more republicans you know finally come in so it, i love it you know make sure i go check out doug ace out description box down below too as and well. by speaker mike johnson and has been uh vivek ramaswamy i'm teasing him of course uh trump mentioned him favorably but they're in the background bringing him support and there's been a call for all republicans to come out and support trump go to actual manhattan go to actual new york to this courtroom and start showing their public support. So it's spilling out into the streets now. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. This court case, look, Trump might get convicted purely because the court is so corrupt. But this is going to still turn out in his favor, we believe. Let's watch this video, then we'll get to some articles about those other Republicans supporting him behind him. The New York appeals court has now rejected Trump's team's appeal of the gag orders that have been imposed on him in this case. Of course, he's already been found in violation of that gag order, the partial gag order 10 times. Yeah, you can keep laughing. It doesn't even matter anyways, because they're trying to get a gag order placed on Trump uh, team, tried to appeal it to get it removed. And then the court said, no, we're not going to remove it. But why do you need a gag order? Trump disobeys it anyways. He'll take the fine. Good. He also pulls out this stack of papers and just starts quoting people. And by reading them, they're saying everything he wants to say anyways. Watch this. The president now in court about to speak to the cameras. Let's okay, hold on real quick. I'm going to point out the people in the background. There's Doug Burgum back there supporting him. Byron Donalds is buried back there way on the left. Second from the left circle there, that's Vivek Ramaswamy below him. Mike Johnson in the front there. There's Laura Trump going to the right. And there's Eric Trump in the back. They're starting to put, and there's J.D. Vance is in there somewhere too. They're starting to pack oh, yeah. it with more as broad of Republican support as they can get to start showing these are normal people, not just MAGA people. Let's get some normal people in there. Trump even has some Democrats back there. You ready? So here's a couple of quotes. And the thing with the Dem the whole Democrat thing, too, like thinking about it, knowing about like people got to realize that even if, you know, you're a Democrat, you know, and obviously I'm all open to know what other people are, like, what their stance is with it, you know, what they got to say. Um, I don't, you know, have any hatred. Um, but when somebody know what's right, you know, support that. You know, instead of being in denial, being, you know, unreal about the fact of what's going on right now. That's how I look at it. It's a lot of, it's a lot of Democrats, you know. There's a lot of people that's independent. There's a lot of people that don't even like Trump, won't even vote for him. But... They support him just for the fact of what he's going through and, you know. Great man, great legal talent. This is not a I heard that I'm in. Great man, great legal talent. This is not a trial of Donald Trump. It's a case of the Democrat Party versus America. It also represents the greatest effort to interfere with and steal a federal election in American political history. Biden is seeking to clear the field. That's Trump reading Mark Levin to the press. Yeah. I mean, that's a great, I'd take that gag order any day if he got to just read Mark Levin. So he continues just saying the worst things that he wants about Alvin Bragg, Murchon, all the judges, but he's reading other people. So he gets away with it. Uh, Andy McCarthy just came out. New Yorkers should be outraged at the mockery Bragg is making of the state's legal system as the entire country looks on. The entire world is looking on. And we'll always quote Andy McCarthy. He's my our, our favorite legal scholar. Now, this is ABC News article, Trump allies, potential VP contenders flock to Manhattan courthouse. This is about the people in the background there in that picture, political allies of former President Donald Trump, many of whom are possibly jockeying for future positions with him have begun to attend his New York hush money criminal trial 
as it enters its fourth week, highlighting how Trump has attempted to make New York his campaign stomping grounds in the wake of his required court attendance. This is very good. You know, Trump just got out of New Jersey with a huge giant event. I think these go even farther out than that event because that's for his supporters. This stuff that he does standing on the sidewalk reading these quotes goes out on ABC News, NBC News, CBS, all the reach into lefty area. And so now the the uh, the fellow uh, Vivek Ramaswamy and Tommy Tuberville and J.D. Vance are coming on camera, standing in the background behind Trump, showing their support. On yeah, Tuesday, definitely. Trump's former Republican challenger and now a staunch supporter, Vivek Ramaswamy, is expected to attend court with him, according to his spokesperson. His appearance follows attendance from Republican Senators J.D. Vance, Tommy Tuberville, New York GOP Rep. Nicole Malo- Maliotakis, Maliotakis, and Republican State Attorneys General Steve Marshall of Alabama and Brenna Byrd of Iowa on Monday. So they're starting to pack it out. Sent Florida Senator Rick Scott rev- uh, traveled with Trump uh, to court last week. They're getting some celebrity support saying this is the Republican Party admitting that this is about the Democrats using the court system against yep. Trump. It's- and it's about time that, you know, Republicans do that. It's about time. We, we've talked about it before, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad they're doing it. You know, I'm not a person that's going to say, oh, yeah, they, they, you know, talking crazy about it, you know. It happened, you know, and I pray that they, you know, continue to support them. And, you know, we all know what this is and we'll see. You know, we're, we're, we, we're going to see come um, when it's, you know, <clears throat> November time for him. You know what I'm saying? To, to get in, you know, office, you know, to be president. And a lot of people are mad about, you know, I, I say it all the time, you know, when I get on here uh, with my videos, you know, and people people get so mad they get so triggered i just said in the last video they get so mad at the fact that i say that and it's true you know this is literally his campaign this is literally you know what is in in this history you know this is history it's, it's something to to witness to be able to you know see and talk about you know um and it's amazing you know so i i strive to for people to pay attention to this because you know this is something that you know is great you know and try to find something you know positive out of the negative it, this is all messaging this is all marketing and it's brilliant and i'm for it they Definitely. need to get crowds of republicans out there outside of this court case uh, president trump is is a friend and i wanted to be here to support him i'm here speaking with you outside because the court won't allow us to speak inside the building that's just one of the many things that are wrong here this is the the, the fifth week that president trump has been in court for this sham of a trial They are doing this intentionally to keep him here and keep him off of the campaign trail. And I think everybody in the country can see that for what it is. Here's from The Hill. Speaker Johnson to appear at courthouse amid Trump hush money trial. This is specifically so that Speaker Johnson, instead of being attacked by Marjorie Taylor Greene, who's trying to vacate the seat, and Trump's telling Marjorie Taylor Greene, hey, quit trying to vacate the seat, that Speaker Mike Johnson is coming out in support of Trump, meaning... He's Speaker of the House, so the House Republicans are behind Trump. I'm an attorney. I'm a former litigator myself. I am disgusted by what is happening here. What is being done here to our entire system of justice overall? The people are losing faith right now in this country, in our institutions. They're losing faith in our system of justice. And the reason for that is because they see it being abused as it is being done here in New York. Speaker Mike Johnson. Uh, will appear at Manhattan Courthouse Tuesday as former President Trump uh, sits for another day of his hush money trial. Johnson is the latest Republican lawmaker to visit the court amid Trump's ongoing criminal trial, which has kept the former president largely off the campaign trail as he vies for another term in the White House. The facts here are very important. Facts are always important in a trial, or at least they're supposed to be. The president's actions in this matter were previously reviewed and no charges were filed. Why is that? Because there's no crime here. Now, eight (laughs) years later, suddenly they've resurrected this thing. They brought it back. And why is that? Well, just apply common sense. Everyone can see. Exactly. It's painfully obvious that we're now six months out from an election day. And, And that's the reason. 
Uh, and then exactly. just a quick. There it is. Uh, and that's, that's, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, say stuff about Mike Johnson and say this, say that. But, hey, y'all, we take what we get. You know, take what you get. And um, it's something that needs to be said regardless. You know, he, he said it. He, he was real about it. And, you know, it's real, you know, regardless. So I definitely apply him for that. You know, I definitely do. I Summary, the quick uh, uh, speaker Johnson's trip to New York comes less than a week after the House overwhelmingly blocked an attempt by Marjorie Taylor Greene. Republican of Georgia, to oust him from office, an outcome uh, that some have attributed, at least in part, to the former president's backing of Johnson. Yeah, the president and Johnson, just to assuage your, your the division between, you know, as you guys know, I love Marjorie Taylor Greene and I love Mike Johnson. I think what Marjorie Taylor Greene may not understand in Johnson's support of Ukraine is uh, there's kind of a higher strategy going where, you know, if the Republicans don't fund Ukraine and Ukraine collapses and Russia goes and just does a full-blown invasion, even onto Poland, okay, because of our lack of funding, if that happens on our watch before this election, then we get the blame for breaking Ukraine. Mm -hmm. That is one positive, the only positive I can see to supporting Ukraine, where Marjorie Taylor Greene may be wrong on the tactics. Maybe. That's all I'm saying. So uh, what do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of uh, any of you going to make a trip out to New York? Would you make a trip to New York if you could and stand with Donald Trump? Let me know in the comment. I definitely would, you know. <laughs> That'd be something cool to do. I don't, I've don't. i never seen Donald Trump in person. Um I never been to like a Trump rally or nothing like that. I I would want to. I think it'll be like something like crazy and like amazing to meet Donald Trump. Um, I know a lot of y'all probably think the same way, um, but I think that'll be pretty cool. I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, if y'all do go out there, be safe. You know, be safe. Don't let nobody ruin your day, ruin your um, you know, uh, time out there, anything like that. Um, and just to be safe, you know um keep a level headed you know keep 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 always keep level head you know um stay positive you know um definitely stay positive and you know i think i think honestly this is something that like i said in the in the middle of this video that is is history in the making it's something that you know clearly to slow things down why why bring it up now you know and I feel like it's so much that they that they're trying to do because they know that he's going to win. And that's just what it is. Definitely appreciate y'all. Much love to everybody. Catch y'all on the next one.